Good uh, afternoon, afternoon, morning, <laughs> early, good early afternoon. Look at where we are. That's a pole. You know, just, just, just my favorite resort. My for real favorite resort. See, look at mine too. There's the fireplace. We're finally gonna do the DVC tour of all of the Wilderness Lodge stuff. So yeah, we thought it was just the cabins, but he said studio, a deluxe studio, one bedroom, and the cabin. Yes. So we're gonna have to see all those. We were a little late. Okay. We were a little late getting ready to get the, the vlog up today, like from what we planned. Um, Cause there's a two or three and a four o'clock tour. We literally, it's like 2.10, so we just missed the two o'clock tour. But we're gonna get in the three. So we're gonna find somewhere to mosey around and relax until about 2.50 and then we'll head on back over. Zach is his name, he's gonna be actually giving the three o'clock tour. So he said hopefully the rain stays away. If not, they got umbrellas so we can run from, cause the deluxe studios and one bedrooms are in the building. The cabins are outside. So. Go relax, okay. yeah. That wasn't English, but I understood it. Everything's all squared away. Tour starts in like five minutes. Yeah, Zach is the BBC cast member. I'm excited to see the units because we haven't been in a renovated deluxe. We stayed in the one bedroom before with Chelsea and Kristen. We stayed at Boulder Ridge. These are the Copper Creek. Yes. So we haven't seen any of these, but we're pumped. They were doing construction, super loud construction during our stay, but it was cool because we got free pins. The double shower. So this is the deluxe studio. Yeah. Oh, look at that. California, Oregon, So this is a deluxe studio in Copper Creek, and then there's a one bedroom. Two. Nice bench. These are drawers, yes. I believe this pulls, pulls out. Pulls out. This is more like contemporary yeah. style of Boulder. Yeah. Makes sense. Wow. Come look at the theming back here. Wow. So then this would become like a two bedroom? A one, this, yeah, this is a one bedroom, but it's a two bedroom lock up. Two bedroom lock up. <laughs> right. Makes it a two bedroom. Wow, the kitchen. Kitchen? So they all have the washer driver. Look at this. Oh, this, this has, is connected. It's a circle. Yeah. There's the bathtub, which looks amazing. And then there's actually this yeah. walk in sand. Is another top? Yeah. Shower cool. With the hideaway doors. I love these. I wanted my house growing up. Yeah. From the kitchen to the dining room. Yeah. Love that. Look at that. that. So he described this as like more like contemporary. Wilderness vibes. We'll put a link up of, about our tour from Boulder Ridge, which is the yeah. other DVC one. Look at that. Fairweather. Carolwood Pacific. Oh, this is a cool uh, headboard. Is... Oh, wait, over here. Watch. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh, can you imagine this view? And then the patio actually is all connected to the other living room. Cool. I like it. Yeah. I was nervous it'd be too modern. Yeah, so this is the two bedroom lock off. So this is just a one bedroom villa on its own. And then the other one we, we entered through is a studio on its own. Oh, I didn't see this little floor detail. Cool. Okay, so this is right outside the door. TV, bench, storage. You can open up these windows here. Queen size bed. And look at that closet and the mirror. Oh my goodness. Okay. 
So this sleeps eight. So did the last one, the two bedroom. Okay, so this is the second bedroom. Looks like this has a door right outside. Same, similar setup, light Similar, the light. Big TV, desk, huge mirror. Okay, and this is the bathroom. This TV is the in most the mirror. Beautiful. This is not better than the Grand Floridians. No. But it's this much behind it. Look at this. It's just so different. And I know, and like this. this is lit up, and then there's a, a water closet right here. The rest of the bedroom, is that tile or is that metal? Yeah. So this is a hallway off of that. I think that might be the master closet. <laughs> look at this mirror. Oh look at the frame of it. Oh, look at it. Oh, look at this. this is from Brother Bear. The, um, oh, yeah. his, what should I call it? Like a spirit oh, animal? <laughs> look at this waterfall. That's a big waterfall. It's a shower. big drop. With a seat. Wow. I'm gonna say this is nice so bad. too. I'm gonna oh my so gosh. Oh, and look at this pretty picture. Okay. The view. Fireplace. So this is connected to that bedroom. Chair. I wonder if this folds out. <laughs> the map detail on the table. Oh, look at this book. Oh, welcome home note for trains. Look at this. This table. Eight people could sit around this table, plus the island. Look at the pool. Plus the kitchen. It's got its own little plunge pool. And look at that picnic table. Can we go out there? Yeah. Look at this picnic table. Wow. Right there. Plunge pool, it's three feet deep. There's the rest of the cabins. There's also some on the other side. So the fireplace feeds outside and inside. Can you imagine staying here at Christmas when it's like not crazy cold, but like enough to like be able to sit out here and use the fireplace? Yeah. You guys know how much we love Bay Lake. Uh, how many points is this for a night? These chairs look comfy. Oh, these shades are nice too to pull down. Part of the fireworks from that. Oh yeah. The railroad logo, like. Oh, I love the ivy. Yeah, it's just the stone. All the Edmonds donuts. All the Edmonds donuts. Yeah. Yeah. Edge. Yeah. Seriously, I I would stay here over the Polynesian. I like the quiet and the vibe here better. I, I obviously if I could stay in the Polynesian, I would. But like if I had to choose, I like this vibe more. You know I'm gonna put the Stacy on the TV over here. Well that was a lot of fun, but since we're here and we parked here and our favorite thing in the whole world is to take boats, where is there a super cool place we can take a boat to? Right on the shores of Bay Lake. The Magic Kingdom. Sarah snagged some fast passes. I got my hat and my glasses on and we're set. We, we, um, we did want to say that those tours are offered to DVC members for free. Um, two, three, four, and five? Two, three, and four. Two, three, and four every day. Every day of the week, but you have to be a DVC member. I think they'll, t they'll, t they'll take you on them sometimes if you talk to the front desk. Sometimes you just gotta live life. And that day is today. That's not our last name. Not so our if you haven't picked up on the hint yet, we are in front of Tony's Town Square. Tony's Town Square restaurant. 
And we just put our name down. So we're having this for dinner. Oh, this is the night. It's a beautiful night. And we call it a bella notte. That was imposed. Old man got coffee over here. <laughs> Joffrey's, not from the DVC lounge, but hey, I'm like 75 years old at the inside. You got the crazy? Tyler just left a comment on one of our videos saying your friend Tyler looks like a really nice guy. He should be in more vlogs. <laughs> and then look at this grin. This is so much Oh, grin. let it begin. Look at that. This is the shrimp scampi, right? Shrimp scampi with cheese, the chicken alfredo. We've had this before. Yeah. We've yeah. never had this, but we've heard great things. We also, the caprese, the tomatoes were so delicious. They, didn't they taste like summer? They did taste like summer. Yeah, like the the basil. basil. And they had like the perfect amount of salt on it, and there, there was four. So we each got two. And the bread. Peter said that it was the best bread that he's had in a restaurant. So yeah. It had a crust, but it was soft, and it had salt on top, and the oil that you could dip it in was so good. The one piece was literally all crust, and it reminded me like a deep dish pizza yeah. from Chicago crust. It was delicious. Now I can't wait to dive in. I feel like Sarah doesn't agree, but I think that Sarah got skimped on pasta and chicken. I think it's deeper than you realize. Oh, maybe. Was it good or what? <laughs> no, it wasn't that good. It was literally like, we got our food so fast. And we, and ate, we it so ate it so fast. One last little kicker. <laughs> Take the first bite. Take the first bite. Oh, this is the first pick. <laughs> Delish. Wow. So, that was now? by far the best Tony's experience I've ever had there. Yeah. Uh, to the point where like going into it, I knew it was gonna be good because it's Italian food and we haven't had like restaurant Italian food since we moved here basically. That's always like hit or miss too. Right, but I would give it like a mediocre rating the first two times I went there, but that was really good. Cut okay, so this Don't is mind my head being cut off. No, it Sarah, was really good. Sarah, I was being so Sarah's holding the camera right now. And you wanna know what? We have a fast pass that ends in like five seconds. So the strangest, most magical thing happens. We're walking down Main Street to come to Splash Mountain to try to see get our fast pass is still gonna work. And who do we find? We found Jen! She just I just realized something. Jen is gonna work at one of the resorts on the monorail. She never did a college program. She's not doing a culinary program. She just got hired full time. Today is the first time she's ever gonna go on Splash Mountain. She's just coming on with us. And she hasn't even gone to Animal Kingdom. She just went to the studios for the first time the other day. That is super weird, but super cool. We'll teach her the ways, right? Right. Um, we may have told Jen, she specifically said, don't put me in a situation where I'm gonna get wet. <laughs> but you can't be a cast member and not have gone on Splash Mountain, so. She went through her orientation today. We had to put her on this. Here we go, Jen. The first time on the big drop. Um, she's good. Yeah. Like we, didn't get wet we barely got wet. Like, look at my face. Nice. I was in front of her by myself. That was the first time I like really duck. Oh, I was in the entire ride. Yes. How'd you like it? I, mean, I enjoyed it. You have you have like the kicker, so we're not even at like that's like the semi best part. Here comes the best part, but oh, she already I knows. Oh, there was another drop. I no, was so nervous. it's the party. It's the celebration Woo! for surviving. It's Jen said this is a party exclusive for her, as her first time going on Splash Mountain. Zippity doo dah, Jen. Yeah. 
So if you ever find yourself in Walt Disney World, Magic Kingdom Park, hanging out with Jen, don't go on a haunted mansion because it got stuck when we were going backwards, laying down. And I 100% blame Jen. It's definitely all my fault, 100%. That was not your first time, right? No. Second time? Second time. Wow, I, how do you feel for a second time on haunted mansion? I am a ghost now. Um, I, stopped, I stopped the ride. You are the, the thousand happy haunt. I did notice the, third, the clock with the 13 on it. I never yeah. looked at the actual clock. It's a giant scary monster face. Yes. Are you I serious? never I never realized it. I've been on that I ride. I like the crow. I don't like the crow. The jerky crow. It's like really jerky. Is it like creepy or like really messed creepy. up? Really creepy. All right, so if you've been watching our vlog for a good amount of time, you'll know that this is one of our favorite spots. It's a unique spot to watch the fireworks. Um, and so we decided since Jen has seen these fireworks before and we're getting here right before it starts This would be more enjoyable and less crowded So we're here to watch the fireworks for the night Pumped? Pumped! Woo! Pumped? Pumped. Crazy finding Jen here, right? Well, we made. Mother Nature likes to keep things interesting. We get on the small boat at Magic Kim to come back to Wilderness Lodge to get our car. A big gust of wind comes right as our the captain of our boat was like pulling the boat out, backing up, yeah. backing up, and the front of the boat nicked the dock. Yeah. And so she started going away, but then like it was a loud noise, and so yeah. her supervisors raided right her like, no, you need to come back. So like there's procedures Disney does like to keep things safe. Like there wasn't anything, like the boat didn't even look like there was any damage. It was but, just, but you don't, you never. Yeah, and there's safety procedures and regulations that you should do. So we had to go back, redock. They had to like check the boat out. She left to go do, give like probably, um, some sort of paperwork. A statement or something, yeah. And then so we got, we already had to leave the boat. We had to wait for a different boat to come get us. But we're safe and we're here. It's late. <laughs> <laughs> like always, but we're confessing a level of insanity that we have not done in a long time. Hmm. It is 10 to 1 in the morning. We're trying to wake up at 6 a.m. so I can go on a run and Sarah can finish editing. Sarah already started editing the vlog that you're watching right now. She already has like up until Tony's edited. We're going to bed. I'm supposed to wake up and go run. She's going to wake up when I Peter wake up. Peter ran this morning and he went to the gym. So Yeah, I ran this morning and then this evening I went to the gym to lift weights. Because I'm gonna guess I'm gonna try to do that now. <laughs> we'll see. That's why my hair looks crazy because I took a shower. Yep. So yeah, that's planned. Tomorrow's the 20th anniversary of the opening of Animal Kingdom, so we will be there. Um, that's already. We getting never up mentioned so early. the shirt Pierre was wearing earlier in the vlog. That was the gift from Tyler. We never mentioned that. And I love um, it. And it's I got Dreamfinder and Pigment on it. But we'll get we'll get the stain out. Um, Thanks, Tyler. Yeah. Let put a comment down below. It says Tyler, you rock. He knows he does. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>